Okay, so I'm about to do my meal prep. This week I'm going to have salmon patties. I've already done a recipe video on this, but I'll just quickly go through what I put in my patties. So I love to use these Wasps uh, Crisp and Light. I use them as my breadcrumbs. So this is two crackers crushed up. Then I'm just gonna put in one egg. This is a fourth of a cup of onions. Here is my salmon. I like the red salmon, but it doesn't matter. And then just some Dijon, much, Dijon mustard. So yeah, so I'm just gonna drain the fish and dump it in this bowl and mix everything up in here. And you know, you add as much mustard as you want, but I like a lot of mustard in mine. Okay, so it only took me a few minutes to mix all that together, and now I have them on my grill here. You, I don't think I've showed this, this little grill before. Well, this is a large grill. I don't pull it out very often, but I do like it sometimes for salmon patties. Um, there's a little hot dog roller down here. You can put hot dogs on there, but I've had this for about 10 years, and I've never used it to put any hot dogs down there. So yeah, so now I'm just going to grill up my salmon patties, and then I'm gonna show you the next thing I'm gonna be putting on my grill. This is gonna be an all grill day. Okay, so my salmon patties are almost done. Look how good those look. So once these are done and while the grill is hot, I am going to be cooking up this. So let me get into the light here. Uh, whoa. Okay, so wild boar country style sausage. I saw these at Sprouts and I wanted to give them a try and so I'm going to cook all of these up on my grill and then whatever is left, of course, is going to go in the freezer. Okay. Okay, so the sausage is cooking up really fast because this grill is so hot. That just looks delicious. And you know, of course, I can buy frozen sausage, which I do all the time, but when you cook it fresh like this, it's going to taste so much better. And I figured since I was using this grill anyway, why not? So here are my salmon patties. I put them on a cute little plate just for you. Um, I'm going to eat these for the next three days and then the other three I am going to put in the freezer. And I've frozen these before. They defrost really nicely. Now, so the salmon patties are for lunch. I'm gonna have that with a side salad. The sausage, of course, is for breakfast, which I'll have with some fruit. I've decided that since I have the grill out, I'm going to put this steak on my little grill. I got it because these pieces are pretty thin, so I thought it'd be easy to cook it up on the grill. And it's what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Uh, but then um, for the next few days, I'm going to have this in my salad. So I'll be having steak salad for dinner. Okay, so my steak is really pretty done. It only took a few minutes on this hot grill. So I'm going to be taking this off right now. Look at all this protein. It makes me think of that Arby's commercial where they say we got the meats or something like that. Look at all this meat. Yummy. Meal prep. Okay, so now everything is portioned out. These are the sausages. When I weighed them, Two sausages are about two and a half ounces, so that is actually a perfect size for me. So I don't need to freeze any of these. So for the next three days, I'll have two sausages. The salmon patties, when I weighed these out, each patty is less than two ounces. So I decided that a serving was going to be one and one half patty. So I'll just be having the salmon patties for the next two days. And then the rest of them I'm putting in the freezer. So whenever I freeze meat, I like to wrap it up in foil first and then put it in a freezer bag. And then this is my steak, which I've already cut up and I have weighed it out and I've put it in three bags. The steak was much less than I thought it was. After it was cooked, it was only 5.7 ounces. So um, I divided that up into three servings, so it's only 1.9 ounces in each one of these bags. 
Uh, one is for tonight and then the other two are for the next two days. I'll also put some cheese and also an egg, uh, a hard boiled egg in my salad in order to increase the protein. So this is my meal prep and then later on I will show you the actual meals. So this is my dinner tonight. I had forgotten that I still have some leftover coleslaw from my other meal prep a few days ago. So I just put the steak on top of the coleslaw and I'm going to eat this like a salad. So I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, so this is the next morning and I'm about to have breakfast. I'm gonna have two of these delicious sausages and a plum. I actually haven't had a plum, I think, in a couple of years. Um, I usually do have berries in the summer and when it gets to the fall, I do like to have apples, uh, but I also like to switch it up a little bit. So I bought a few plums, so this week it's going to be plums with my breakfast. And I can't wait to try one of these sausages because it really does smell so good. Okay, so it's lunchtime and I'm having a salmon patty and a big handful of lettuce with uh, some honey mustard dressing and some cranberries. Uh, yesterday I had said that I was going to have one and a half salmon patties, but I've just decided that if I'm hungry, I'll have the other half um, after I finish this or I'll have the other half later as a snack. Okay, so this is what I'm having for dinner. This is just the steak, and then because I needed additional protein, um, I added one hard-boiled egg, and I grated some cheese, and I am going to be putting this Caesar dressing on there, so it's gonna be a steak Caesar salad. I'm really looking forward to this because that steak was so tender from the grill. Um, when I had it last night on top of the coleslaw, Man, that was delicious. So good. I'm going to have that uh, later. Not later, but like I'm going to do that again as an actual meal where I purposely plan to have the steak and coleslaw. It was so good.